everyone, I'm Jackie and this is Danny. And we're here today to make a super fun dessert. We call it S'mores Pizza and we're gonna make it on our campfire. So we'll be right back with the ingredients. Okay. Um, so the first thing you need is pizza dough. We just got ours from Walmart. Um, we did the refrigerated kind, but you can do the just add water kind. You can make pizza dough from scratch or you could even use a tortilla shell if you wanted. And then we need cookie butter, which you also can get at Walmart or any grocery store. Um, then you need graham crackers. You can use off-brand. You can even use vanilla wafers if you want to do that instead. Then you need white and um, chocolate chips. <laughs> you just need both um, white and um, milk chocolate chips or dark chocolate if you like that too, but we like milk chocolate best. And then lastly, you need some marshmallows. We think mini marshmallows work the best, but because we're camping, we already have um, the normal size marshmallows for s'mores, so we just use those ones. So, um, and if you want to make it more decorative, you can put um, chocolate syrup on drizzle on top at the end, but we did not bring that because we're camping and we didn't want to bring an extra item that we didn't need. So that's all the ingredients. We're going to roll out the pizza dough and then show you how to cook it. Okay, so now that we have our pizza dough opened, we're going to divide it in two and actually make two pans. So I'm going to make one and Danny makes one at the same time. So, is it hot? Okay. So we're gonna really just divide the pizza dough in two and you wanna spread it really thin. It'll be like thin crust pizza. I want you a bigger pan than me. And then you just wanna smush it out thin to um, the bottom of the pan. Um, once we have it all smushed out, we'll come back. You forgot to say you need it. It's okay. So once you have your pizza crust all spread out, the next step is to cook your pizza dough. So it is um, cooked, and then when you put all your toppings on, it's just like warming them up instead of cooking it all the way through. So okay, so once you have your dough spread out, it's time to cook it. We just put it on top of the fire, um, and your fire could be hotter or warmer than ours. Um, you want a smaller fire because you don't want to burn it. Um, so it's more like coals with a little bit of fire and you just have to pay attention to when you think it's cooked So when it comes when it's cooked, we'll come back. Okay, so our pizza has been cooking for a little bit We decided to put the lids on them to um, make sure the tops and bottoms get crispy. So we're gonna check it Gotta just lift up the lid and then you just want to see if it looks crispy right here It is getting crispier because we made it a little thinner there um, But that spot that's thick is still not cooked. But we're gonna check the smaller one see if that one is done. Okay, so our pizzas are cooking, but not as fast as we want, so we decided we're gonna flip our dough. Um, you can use a spatula or your fingers. I'm gonna be very careful and just pinch the part that's thicker and then flip it. And then we'll let it cook for a little bit longer because this one was cooking really fast and we didn't want it to burn, but the top wasn't done cooking. So. Okay, so we are going to take them off. We're gonna check them one more time. Just make sure. You can actually, you can see that this off. Okay, so you can see that this one's really golden brown and this one's getting the golden color, but we're just gonna take them off because we do not want them to burn. And then we're just gonna move them from the fire and put them on the ground right over here because we can't put it back on our bench because our bench is plastic and that would melt it. Okay, the next step is to put your topping yeah. on it. Okay, so the first that topping you're gonna put on is your cookie butter and we're gonna let Danny do this part. So you're just gonna scoop out using the back side of your spoon. Yep, and you're just gonna spread it out. Um, your crust is really hot and so is your pan, so be careful if you're touching it. Can I get back to my it's spread? You touch the pan? Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah. Once again, be careful if you are working with it still in the pan because it will be hot. Maybe you should get a little more. You burnt it. It's not burnt. It's toasty. And we're using the back of the spoon again. Okay. So we got one of the ones with the cookie butter done. So the next step after the cookie butter is your chocolate chips. While Danny's getting that ready, I'm gonna put the cookie butter on the other one. Okay, so you just sprinkle them on. Like so, as much or as little as you want. Some people really love chocolate and other people 
don't love it. So if you love it, go for it. If you don't, don't go for it. Um, and we decided to use mini chocolate chips for the milk chocolate one to space it out a little bit more. Um, and I don't think I mentioned earlier, but the type of pan we're cooking these in are cast iron pans. Um, if you're cooking it at home in your oven, you can just use a normal pizza sheet or cookie sheet. But when we cook over the campfire, we always use cast iron pans. You can also use cast iron pans in your oven at home though too. Colton, you want these? These are some chocolate chips. Um, so once you're done with the chocolate chips, you're gonna crush up some graham crackers and put it on top. And you can make your graham cracker chunks as big or as little as you want. It's up to you. Okay, and Danny's gonna crush up some for mine too. Okay, and once you think you have enough graham crackers on, we're gonna add the marshmallows. I won't make these a little smaller. I like the graham cracker chunks smaller. Um, and then if you don't use mini marshmallows, we suggest to rip them. Um, mini marshmallows make it easier and faster to melt, but you can use any size you want. And just rip them into little chunks and put them out there. And once again, just like all the other toppings, it's totally up to you how much you add. Okay, so once you have the desired amount of toppings you want, we're going to put the lids back on it. I got Fireman Mike moving the lids over for us. And then after we have both lids on, we're gonna take some ashes from our fire and put it on top just to make the marshmallows golden brown because we already have the pizza crust already cooked. So we'll come back with it when it's done. Okay, so as you can see, we have our coals on top. You want mostly coals to just warm it up. Don't leave it on for too long. Just kind of guesstimate depending on how hot you think your coals are. If you, um, you can also use like charcoal cubes that you use in the grill, or even if you're not camping, like I said, you can make it in the oven. You could also make it in the grill. So we're just gonna let this cook for a little bit and then we'll take the coals off and we'll come back and show you what it looks like. Um, so the marshmallows are melted, but I think we're going to try to see if they can get golden brown. Um, but if not, you can eat them this way too. Golden brown just makes it look a little more pretty. We're going to take the lid off and see what it looks like. So there's one. And here's two. We got some s'mores pizza. Oh. Now we're going to put on a plate to serve it. So we're just gonna use a spatula and flip it like a giant pancake. Well, don't flip it. Pick it up like a giant pancake. And I'm gonna give this to my mom. And if we're at home, we'd use a pizza cutter, but we're just gonna use a knife to cut it. And we're gonna use our fancy table right here and cut it. You could also just eat it like one big slice if you wanted to. Oh. Just put them 
marshmallow back in the middle. Okay. And s'mores pizza. Hi guys, so I realized last night when I was making the tutorial on how to make s'mores pizza that I forgot to um, leave a sign off. So I just wanna say thank you for tuning in today and learning how to make one of my favorite camping desserts. Well, s'mores are just my favorite camping thing in general, but now you can learn how to make it when camping, a s'mores pizza when camping over a campfire, or you can make it at home at your oven or your grill. Um, tune in to um, Spirit and Girl Scout Spirit of Nebraska Facebook page to watch more cooking videos like this or just any other stay at home videos right now in our time been at home um, I'd love to see you interact with some other videos if you have anything else you'd like to see in a video put it in the comments and have a great day bye guys